Good morning or afternoon. Today we are looking at book number one, number 69, This Old Man. Like a lot of older fairy tales and songs, this song is a little deceptive in that it sounds very happy and we associate it with a counting game, but the origins are a little strange. Your book says that this is an American folk song, and that's not exactly true. It actually comes from England. It was first published in 1906, but it actually came from the 1850s. This old man actually references Irish immigrants who fled from Ireland during the potato famine. It's not a nice song. It references Irish people selling knickknacks or doing various tasks for money. The phrase paddywhack, unfortunately paddy is a diminutive form of Patrick, and paddywhack is not a nice thing to say. So looking at the actual song in the book, the biggest concept here is that we are starting dynamics. Dynamics refer to how loud or how soft something you play is. Forte being one of the louder ones and piano being one of the softer ones. So the F stands for forte, which means loud. P stands for piano, which means soft. So at the beginning here, you'll play a measure forte, a measure piano, a measure forte, and then you'll go about halfway through this measure to piano and you get the idea. So the very end has a divisi, so it's gonna be up to you to choose whichever one you like. I would caution you to make sure that when we're playing the second part here and you get to this measure of eighth notes, that you tongue all of those. Use the very tip of your tongue so that it comes out cleanly. For non-pitched percussion like snare drum, you've got pretty much the same thing as everybody else, you're just playing it on your snare drum. So do the best that you can to create those dynamic differences. If you as percussionists play the dynamics, everyone else will definitely do it. Percussion tends to lead the way on dynamics, along with tubas. So good luck and have fun.